Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is Friday. Um, I did a post talking about stop abuse when I was like, oh god, when I was like five years old, I experienced the most traumatic abuse of all, it was by another man. And that is why I find it terrifically hard to date people, but also at the same time, I have the smarts to know when I'm being taken. And so I think... When I think about what women say and how women react and everything else, I look at their actions as a sign of communication. When they're asking me for money, Amazon gift cards and stuff like that, I don't buy it. I stand up for women, I defend them to the very end, but things I won't defend are just out and out stupidity. And so I want to bring you a positive point to talk about and that is is that when you are in a relationship no matter what kind of relationship you're in remember to always be loving caring and passionate about what you know and share your share your insight with them because it makes them feel better care about them and who you are and be vigilant about your surroundings and about who you're dating. I'm 31 years old, so I'm seeking someone 24 to 36 years old with an average body and someone who loves business and someone who lives around Eugene or close to Eugene. And I want somebody who understands where I'm coming from in this post. There's gonna be more to come, so stick around. This is a video message for everybody on social media. If you're looking at my social media account, you're following me on Instagram or any place else, you can basically count on me saying thank you. I mean, I really do appreciate it. Sometimes I do not appreciate, well, here's what I don't appreciate, fake ass people. <laughs> I mean, there are some real people and then there are some fake ass people. And you know, I would be remiss if I wasn't conservative about what I said. But these fake, low-life people who have no class, no understanding, no reasonable common sense, have left a lot of things in question. Well, let's start with the fact that when they're asking you for a gift card, they want it electronically, and they want money put on it. No, not going to happen, not in this lifetime, not in the next lifetime, and not in the lifetime after that. So, I guess I should submit to you that the truth is, is you're not going to get money from me, because I don't give money. I give advice. I give reasonable conversation. I'm like the... John Wayne of the era. I'm not prejudiced. I'm open-minded. I take in all viewpoints, and at the end of the day, I come up with mine. I think that America was founded on three things. The choice, the vision, and the respect. And if all three of those things are not there, then we've lost something. Truly, it is a monarchy of words we can display actions we can display hate we can even display a hyphen if you don't know what a hyphen is be watching my blog because I'll put this video right along with the video talking about it up on Facebook and it is really kind of an eye-opening experience People want to destroy the folk heroes of America. People want to put these heroes back where they belong in the history books, but they want to take them out of it because they think they were racist or they were hate-spoken and they were filled up with misfortune and information. Well, it's not exactly misfortune and information if you're saying something to somebody that is true. So... In that, you're speaking to a majority of men, 
you're speaking to a majority of women. And you're speaking to the majority, the silent majority, of people who are afraid to speak out against this kind of stuff. I truly believe that the saying is true. See, we speak words with anger sometimes. We say things we don't really mean to say. But in that, just like in me, I want to date somebody who understands what I say. Who can go deeper than the word and yet understand why I said it. Who is willing to open up to me and talk to me. But at the same time, is willing to express themselves in a more positive way. Okay, we may not all get some, we may not get the positivity out of it. Or we may not get the action out of it, but we express ourselves in a positive way. We look to the history books to express anger. We look to our minds to express joy. I guess the one thing I can put to this is, is that if you're... Let's just say, if you're with somebody who you care about deeply, you're going to know it. Because certain, there's certain things that are going to happen that you can't control. And that's the truth. Because when you can't control those things, your body does certain things. It's not a giveaway. It's an understanding. If you can't share a fire and reach the same pleasure and desire in a woman that she reaches in you, then you're losing something. You're losing your respect. You're losing your common sense. And the most important thing is, is you're losing your credibility with women. Speak to what you know. Give insightful conversation to a woman who accepts it for what it is. I'm 31 years old, and there's nothing more on this world than I would love to have a woman who understood me and also understood why I do things the way I do things. I want a relationship, but I also want a business, and I don't want to have to balance a business with a relationship just to make somebody happy. So if I'm not making somebody happy, then I'm not making it success at doing what I want to do. And if I'm always making somebody happy and never making myself happy, I'm losing at what I want to do. So I will give credibility and score to the fact that I love somebody enough to understand them and that I want a woman who will allow me to pleasure her without question and have her pleasure me without question and accept me for the way I am the way I'm going to be and the future I'm going to build for me and her together thank you for joining me on this fabulous Friday God bless America and thank you all of you for the great inspiration and the great reads that you guys comments and likes and follows to do on all of my social media that means that you're wanting to understand more about me just like I'm wanting to understand more about you but like I said I don't want women who want gift card Amazon gift cards or anything like that I don't want that I want somebody who wants to actually talk to me on the phone or meet up with me in person and not via a social media uh, money grabber thing. I'm not playing that game. I won't play that game. If you want money, you need to get a job. So take that with you when you go look at this because I'm not changing for you and I'm not changing for the next person. I'll change for the woman who really cares about me to come see me to my face 
to talk to me, to do what I want to do once in a while, to watch what I want to watch, and to accept me for who I am. There are like millions of things out there that I can point out to you, and there are like millions of things that I have learned that I can point out to you. All you have to do is listen. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and have a wonderful weekend.